Good evening, everybody. Welcome and welcome to About Time. Welcome to our channel. I apologize for the background noise besides Chris. Um, you know, uh, uh, of course, uh, that is Chris at Tan Bum. Everybody call him Tan Bum 69 from now onwards. Um, and of course, it's me. The conceited Quran. Uh, Chris, look into the camera. Let me tell everybody what a boo boo you made. Uh, yeah, sure. Yes. So, what was the boo boo? Was that? <laughs> <laughs> Half of them were affordable. Half of everything is affordable in our in our thing, but at this point, we have to be clear. Since we're going against each other, right, sir? Sure. Yes. So, so we should we tell do have uh, what do you call it? Uh, limits. So we're doing. Well, we have limits on the first half, but the second half we do not, right? Right, right. That's correct. Yes. Cool. So they're not affordable watches, correct? Yes, they're not all affordable watches. All right. So we're <laughs> making that clear from get go. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Chris. The other Chris. All right. How's it going? Okay. What happened here? All right. Cool. How do I take this out? Banner. Hide. Okay. Cool. All right. So, Chris, what are we doing today? Let's do this correctly today. Yes. So, we have four categories. We have uh, men's dress watch and men's sports watch under 3,000. Okay. Um, for the two categories, and then we have uh, ugly watches, and uh, we have ladies' watches with diamonds. Okay, good. So, uh, hey, David. Hey, Chris. Hey, everybody. Hey, David. Yeah, David Bryant is here uh, as well. So, Chris, do you want to start with the wrist check? Sure. I'm wearing the a watch that wouldn't fall into any category, I think. Um, and Seiko. Oh, hello, the legend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hello, newbie watch collector. <laughs> newbie watch collector would be Dave, right? Probably. <laughs> I'm guessing, yeah. Wait, I am confused though. Heisenberg is not Dave, then. Uh, he might, I don't know, actually. He, he could have been because, because, yeah. Anyway, yeah. so what do you think? Which Grand Seiko? The SBGH267, the okay. blue mosaic dial. That's sweet. That's sweet. And I'm wearing, of course, with the theme. Just always rubbing that in my face. Was that? Have you said it yet? No, it says 1230. That's why we I are. Just call, you just call it a different time zone. No, but hence we're doing the show on, an, uh, on a different time right now. Okay. Because of the watch. Very true. <laughs> Very true. By the way, Chris, cheers. Cheers. Oh, you're drinking too. Nice. What I do you got there? Drinking. It's my second prune juice. Prune juice. Oh. Well, going hard tonight, I see. I know, I know. Anyway, so we are we gonna start with the sports watch under three thousand dollars? Yeah, we could do that. All right, so you're going first. You're going first all throughout this time. <laughs> okay. Well, so our first category is first category is sports watch sport. under three thousand. That's correct. And it is a zin. <laughs> so I went with the zin U U fifty. Um, I haven't seen this exact version in person, but I've seen the U1. Um, and the biggest complaint uh, I think I had and probably most people had was that it was a little too thick um, and a little bit. And we, I a think a lot bit. of people were asking for a little bit of a smaller version. So uh, the U1 was a great piece. Uh, it had that really cool coating, um, tegumented uh, process that they do. Uh, to the metal on um, uh, the watch and the bracelet. So it's they use a submarine steel, which is really cool. 
Um, so it feels very, very, very Germanic. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just that cold Bauhaus look. So it doesn't really jump off as a luxury piece, but um, it comes in under 3000. Uh, the only, I guess, knock that it would be um, a Salida movement, not an Etta movement. But uh, at this price range, I think it's a really good value. And Sin always um, puts a ton of extra work into their pieces. Um, my only complaint, I guess, about the company in general is that it's not available in America other than through watch buys, which is kind of annoying because they're really cool pieces that you you have to see in person because a lot of their pieces are very matted, um, kind of utilitarian look to them. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I've been um, in Asia, they're pretty popular, so you can see them all over, but uh, it's a cool brand. Um, if you like that look, they're not as uh, flashy of a, of a company. So not every, it's not for everyone, but I kind of like the brand in general. So that's my pick. And I'll scroll down to the price. That's fine. I believe you. It shouldn't be more than $3,000. No, though. it's not. Yeah. That's fine, Chris. But if you want the exact price. Oh, my God. It's giving me a headache. <laughs> yeah, I see $3,500. 2000 to 3500 Chris. No, no, it's. Twenty nine forty with the bracelet. No, it's twenty one eighty and twenty. <laughs> but anyway, that's a great pick, and um, it is. Can you go up to the picture on top? Because you actually gave me where to go right now. Um, I love how that loom, of course, is gorgeous. Oh, it's um, all yeah. It's a ton of loom there. Yeah, and I love how that stem is at you know five o'clock. It's mm -hmm. four o'clock rather. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful pick. And according to your weekend, um, you <laughs> told me you like thick, apparently. So. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, I'm into thinner cases. All right, all right. Get that out of my face now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It is beautiful. So with um, my pick, um, I went with uh, the usual suspect. And uh, I went with something uh, that probably everybody is more used to seeing mm -hmm. in the U.S. And I went with this piece. Tag whore. Tag hoya. Uh, not whore. Uh, <laughs> Tag whore. And this is one of the newest pieces. I love that red and black mix. It's more like it's that. It's the tortoise yeah. shell, right? I'm sorry? Is it like that tortoise shell kind of? Um, yes, that's, uh, yeah. that's exactly what I was trying to say. And uh, the price is here, so I don't need to scroll down. Uh, right here, 2700 Okay. Basic automatic everyday sports timepiece. I am scrolling down right now just for you to see the thickness since um, <laughs> you like all of that dirty talk. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and that is... Um, What's the strap it comes on? Uh, I think it's a leather rubber. So yeah, um, it's leather stitched on rubber. If you'd like to see that, it's right here. Yeah. Do they and have I other options or is it is that the main... Of course, uh, there will be a metal band to it. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, and that's the loom. That's also good loom too, right? That is pretty good, yeah. Yeah. So that's my uh, choice as well. Not scissors likes your shape of hands. The movement is, I, I'm trying to read. There we go. So let's <laughs> go back to here. Let's remove that. Um, all right, hold on. I'm confused here. Paul says the movement is protected by submarine seal. That was about your timepiece. Mm -hmm. That was also about your timepiece, which says, I love the shape of the hands. Chris D. Who's Chris D now? Oh, Chris changed his name. Yeah, uh, he changed his name. All right. Uh, <laughs> finally. <laughs> so he has a Formula One caliber five uh, with anthracite oh. So I can't tell if that's a vote for you, though. 
No, no, we're not voting again. Not again. voting. Okay. Uh, this is not a competition because, you know, I would win hands down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. Well, All right. I think they were both really cool options. Yeah, they are. How do I how do I take these out of the stream though? That's kind of confusing. Okay, stop screen. Okay. Yeah. That. <laughs> All right. Tag needs some love. No more Tudo BB fifty eight. I do agree. I do agree, Dan. Um, all right. So, Chris, uh, you're going with your next uh, under three thousand dollar dress watch. Let's stick with. Um, I know you what you would have chosen because uh, I shouldn't have let you go first here because if this is an FC, I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> no, okay. I was very close to doing an FC. Mm -hmm. Very close, but I knew you. I kind of thought you would. No, of course I would. Long Jane. Oh, Long Jean. Long Jean. Long Jean. Long that is a beautiful timepiece, though, I must say. I, I really think um, they're just doing some really cool work with their kind of their revival pieces, um, mm -hmm. their heritage. Uh, they, they have a really cool history with the, a lot of their chronographs and their vintage pieces, but they're bringing it back with the look and you don't have to worry about all that comes with vintage uh, watches. So you can kind of get that aesthetic without worrying about movements and parts and things like that. So, um, and I think it's a very approachable price range. Um, 2000, you know, between two and 3000, I think they've really hit that price point perfectly. Um, and it, it's a, it's such a good price point to bring people into the hobby, and uh, you can really get you know a name brand, um, great. I mean, Long Jeans being part of the Swatch Group, you get, you know, one of the top grade at a movement, so you get the best of that world. Um, so, and you can even get into a moon phase, which usually, um, you know, only FCs and uh, brands like that. Um, at that price point, really, you can get into. So, I think Long Jeans is a good, good choice for their uh, for their dress pieces. I was gonna go with the Heritage for their sport, um, but then I felt like there's uh, better or fewer options within the dress category, and I think Long Jeans hits it like right in the sweet spot. I agree. I agree. That is a beautiful timepiece. As well, uh, funny enough, I did choose a Phases of the Moon as well um, for my choice. However, um, I went both ways. I went two choices in this one, uh, only because um, I wanted to let everybody know that um, you can either do it in the electroplated gold mm -hmm. or stainless. So here I am with my Frederick. Uh, phases of the moon. Very standard here. Yeah. Yeah. Automatic as well. 18 carat electroplated, which is 12 microns below solid gold. But this is the piece that I actually really wanted to show, if you can see. Yeah. The blue dial in stainless steel. Because that is a really good looking dial. as well. Yeah. That one is um, very nice looking as well. I wish they made that in. Um, that electroplated gold because the you know the blue comes out really special uh, when it's with rose gold. So how does how um, mm -hmm. I guess tough is that uh, electroplating? Um, is it like so a higher grade than twelve microns below solid? So it's very good for men, particularly because you know yeah. um, you know we're not like women. You know, spray perfume and lotion oh, yes. constantly on their hands. So alcohol-based products can, of course, rub out that uh, gold. Whereas men, um, you know, right. will just cologne. That's it. Yeah. So yeah, cool. uh, it holds up pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great pick. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was thinking of uh, you picked the date calendar and phases of the moon, and so did I. Yeah. <laughs> well, nothing says dress watch like a moon phase. 
<laughs> yeah, oh, oh, it does. It's a Valentine's watch. It really is, yeah. It's a Valentine, yeah. All right, cool. All right, so let me do this. Let me move this over. And we are going to, you know what? We did a ladies watch uh, with diamonds last. Okay. On, this is off because it's Women's Day. So, true, true. Yeah, in honor of uh, Women's Day, if um, you said you have a lot of ladies watching uh, the channel, so well uh, with you there, of course. Besides Daniel, I don't see anybody else. <laughs> Thank you today. I want to. I want to on this channel. Oh wait, we just got a new subscriber, Warren. Warren just subscribed. Oh wow! Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, so, so uh, we are going with the unattractive. You had to be like this. Yeah. You you might not be happy with my choice, but why would you be happy with my choice? I watch mine for a while. Sorry? It, it's been a watch that I've been pretty disappointed with. I hope um, <laughs> I hope it's your sea monster. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna show my own watch. <laughs> no. Brigade. Brigade. Yeah. You think that's an unattractive timepiece? Yeah, honestly, I'm very disappointed. Like and I'm ugly. not mad, I'm just disappointed. Yeah, but do you think this is an ugly watch? Uh, I oh, wanted to what is it you, Chris. I was hoping for so much after the Previous generation Marine. This is not ugly, though. I, I mean, people, the eight people that we have on our channel today. Right. <laughs> I'm so uh, I'm disappointed at you on this choice. I mean, I'm not saying it's an attractive, like, you know, it's. I was thinking you'd be choosing some, like, <laughs> bubble or something. That's the rate I was going at. I know. There, I mean, that's kind of easy to choose. Like, just pick some 50 millimeter, like, Hublot or something. Well, yeah. you know, I know. I know. Yeah. I wanted, I, it's just, I was really looking forward um, to the next Marine after. Um, I thought it was a really cool idea from uh, Brigay. Yeah, but that's not ugly. This still looks like just a wow. I know, but it's just the waves are too much, and the Romans are very blurry. Like they, they don't, they're not like crisp on the outside. So it's just, I think it's more that it's disappointing to me than something that I really love. Like I was really hoping for something. You think that this is not attractive, and you like the Bubba better yeah. than this. Yeah. And it just it just doesn't do anything for me, and I feel like really let down. You think that this is this is worse looking than the Bubba Watson? Oh yeah, I would I would definitely say that. All right, just put your parents' number, please, because <laughs> here. I know this is a very this is not the greatest like ugly watch pick, but it's just a not. Uh, it's hard to explain. I, I, I feel get where you're coming from in this concept because you were disappointed about the marine not, you know, up up in its standards of what it was because the earlier marine in stainless was gorgeous with that right. Right. and everything. Maybe, maybe, maybe because it wasn't as good in my opinion as that marine is why i don't feel yes, but i beg to differ this is not not attractive though well it, let, I, me, let me actually show you because if we were competing i'd feel really confident of myself right here I'm sure. I, I, I bet there's a lot of people that think this is a pretty yeah. good watch well i went uh let's let's not even go there because I'm not disappointed. I was just hoping that you'd find me a timepiece that I haven't seen before that's <laughs> not as attractive as the one that I'm going to show you right now. All right. Yeah. Um, so let's remove your thing right there. Can we take your... Oh, you brought it back. Okay. 
All right. So I'm going to show you a timepiece. Maybe you've not heard of it um, before, or maybe nobody has. But have you heard of a brand called Azimuth? Mm -hmm. You have? Yeah. Okay. I, I haven't looked. <laughs> All right. I See, I actually, I kind of like get this piece at least. Like I see what they're going for. You know what I mean? Like, Chris, this looks like you with a frown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like that it's frowning, but <laughs> I mean, I can kind of see what they're thinking. I actually, I saw, um, I was watching yeah. a video and Ariel Adams actually has this piece. And you can like turn the key and stuff. Chris, you have to turn the key. No, I like it's like a cool yeah. concept. Okay, so you think this is better looking than the Brega? Honestly, I would like if they were the same you price. Would buy price. this or the Brega? Like pr taking price out of it, yeah, I'd probably buy this over the Brega. Chris, what happened to you in Denver? Let's talk about this. <laughs> I'm just like a different person. <laughs> it actually, wow, that, that is a really good comment. So you're telling me, uh, honestly, look me straight in the eye. Okay. Okay. Yes, Mike, it does. It looks like Fiona without hair from Richie Rich. <laughs> um, uh, F Fiona, right? That was her. Uh, yeah. You were you are telling me, wait, let me remove this. Hold on, hold on. I need to do this. Look, look everybody in the eye. Yeah. Tell everybody that you actually prefer this timepiece over that Brege. Yeah, I prefer that robot piece over the Brege. <laughs> Your face is like stunned. <laughs> I am. I think I, I'm not sure if everybody agrees with you here, but I don't think anyone does. But you would like the azimuth or whatever. <laughs> I would have I'm, to think about. It. Just trying to understand. Taking price out of it because I'm sure the azimuth. Is I don't. Expensive. One second. That azimuth is expensive. Um, oh really? <laughs> yeah, azimuth is. I have sold a brand. Um, that's a pretty random brand. <laughs> Thank you, David. Um, I would. I, I will say, like, the Marine was one of my uh, pieces that I would have gotten from Brigade. I, I really like them. I understand. Uh, but I'm just trying Marine. to understand that you think that Marine is worse looking at the, than that Asmith? Uh. I like the concept more of the azimuth. Hold on, hold on. Let me bring it up for people right now. Again. And you can bring your marine up. This. Sure. This thing right here. This one, too. Is better looking than... Wait, let me let me take the thing off right now. Oh shit! I did I show my other piece? No. Okay. Well, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> All right. Thank you. No. All right. Wait one second. Hold on. Chris, you take the brigade. Come on. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, it's for the people. We're gonna ask the people right now. In reality, I, probably just because it's a brigade. I am shocked that you're gonna say, you're saying that. I mean, honestly, brigade is like my favorite, one of my favorite brands. But yeah, but I'm shocked that you're going to choose. Mm -hmm. uh, Azimuth over the brigade. I mean, it is kind of interesting. I just like the idea of. What it's trying to do but the category was which one is more unattractive right i mean to me yeah this i don't know what to tell you it's just not my not my style fair enough fair enough okay i mean it's just a taste thing like 
of all the, I mean, of all the pieces that if you could choose, um, even from Brege, would what, like, when would you pick that Marine out of their whole collection? Like, you would go for, you know, a Type 21, then you'd go for... Um, I actually happen to like the Marine. I just don't happen to like the price because of the gold aspect. I wish they made it in stainless. Um, but um, I get where you're coming from, but I didn't think it was unattractive. I was hoping that I you would- I definitely pick, no, I'm, I, I will say I definitely pick an ugly watch. Um, I just wanted some to pick something that I thought was mm, more disappointing, I guess. Maybe mm -hmm. that would, it would be a better piece for like a disappointing watch that- Like I thought you were gonna pick, pick the Jacob five time zone and whatever- oh, yeah, no, no, I would have picked- that as well because yeah, those are I would have picked a, objectively I would have picked the Jacob and Co. That's probably the ugliest watch to me. The five time zone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Why is Grand Seiko Grand Seiko? Who is blue? Blue subscribe if you're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. See? Oh, there we go. Oh, I, I was just saying, I was I was trying to do that. All right. What yeah, the? So I, I think it would be too much today. I'm sorry. <laughs> Both the Chris's in Utah. <laughs> Something, Something in here <laughs> in Utah. <laughs> uh, there is something in the air in Utah today. <laughs> maybe it's probably a better pick for a different category. Yes, I do agree with. That. <laughs> okay. Well, let's let's bring up the Jacob and Co. Yeah, we should actually. The five time zone. Actually, the one that um, Ronaldo wears. Uh, Ronaldo, right? Yeah, yeah. Cristiano. Yeah. All right, I got it. Okay, this one I think. We can <laughs> on. That might that, be the worst watch of. Yeah, that's not the one he wears, but. No, no, it's their basic one. Um, yeah, it's absolutely horrible. Mm -hmm. uh, which, I mean, it's weird because they have, like, the super high-end um, Astronomia, and then they have that. Like, they don't have anything in between, which is really... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Chris, uh, Chris Dye, I'm talking to Chris Dye, actually. Uh, when you said the real Utah should stand up, um, Bruce is actually jumping right there. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Chris, if you don't mind, uh, not Chris Dye, Chris Chang, um, send Dan, uh, Daniel um, an invite so we can bring him on as well. Um, on yeah. here. And uh, then we'll go with the ladies' watch. I did pick something a little more, not to my taste, but I actually, pers and not uh, it's not to my taste, not to probably a lot of people's taste, it was to my taste because it's one of the newest pieces. So we'll wait till he comes on as well, if he'd like to, and if he can. I do agree with you, David. I was actually gonna give you a call today, David, uh, but with your 3000 numbers that I have saved on your phone, um, Yes, Chris, that is absolutely correct. Uh, it did, unfortunately. Yep. It did. Yeah, it was kind of cool. I like the idea of it. Yeah. Kind of crazy how it worked. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen them in person or have yes, you sold it? A new friend of mine represented the brand, and um, yeah, I've seen them and handled them in person. Yep. I, have. Uh, I do agree. Who is blue? Blue is this mysterious um, subscriber. Did he subscribe yet? Or she? Did you send Daniel the invite? Yeah. You can come on if he wants. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and almost get robbed or probably get robbed and shot. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Chris, do you want to you want to bring up? Um, yeah, I yeah? can do. Much. 
So I went with the Vacheron. Uh -huh. uh, you thought we were voting today, so you went. I did. I was. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were voting. I went with. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My uh, other choice was. I can show my other choice. <laughs> Um, I thought this was uh, kind of a safe pick, but yeah, you wanted to. I'll, I'll, pull, I'll, pull, I'll pull up the one I. Um, <laughs> I feel bad now. Uh huh. <laughs> you feel bad. I feel bad. Was this a jumping on? Mm -hmm. There he is. We'll bring him on anyway. Hello, Mr. Reichart. <laughs> Someone's got to save the show. Good. I'm here to be the art. I'm not sure why I'm on, but you know, Quran says jump. I say how high. <laughs> <laughs> he is the boss. He's the, he's the new CEO. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, he keeps firing the old one. So, D Dan, what do you think of his uh, brigade choice against <laughs> the azimuth of the ugliest one? Not a fan. Not a fan. <laughs> Chris, it's not. I just you're just digging your heels in. You got burned by Breguet. I get it. I'm there with you. The the numerals freak me out, but it's not more ugly than the azimuth. <laughs> I kind of thought the azimuth was cool. I mean, it's fun. Yeah, I mean, you're not like wearing it as a high horology, but Chris, that is ugly. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go with my ladies' timepiece because I did the same thing that you did, Chris. I went with uh, normally a uh, crowd favorite in brand, probably not the best uh, timepiece, but I went with Jai Jai. Um, <laughs> and I went with this piece because I don't know if you guys have seen ladies' diamond piece, but um, I'm not too much of a fan of the bracelet, but... I think for a decent dress watch, let me see if I can do that. It's pretty cool with the dial, don't you think? You there? You guys there? Yeah, we're here. I'm just oh. absorbing. Oh, you are absorbing. So it was like a mix between what would be the ugly... And a lady's timepiece too. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the bracelet. It reminds me of um, an Ebel uh, years ago that was called the Shanta. But the way the dial is, I actually like this side more than the other. Oh, that is really cool. Yeah. So are those all those are all diamonds on that bracelet? The well, metal? right here, yeah. Like it's in the shape of a yeah. Weave. Yeah. Really cool. That strikes me as a, just almost like a like a just a bracelet. I mean, other than just like a brace a watch on a bracelet. It's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's like your first random viewer. Yeah, blue, <laughs> like and subscribe then. <laughs> do it for the All giveaway, right. my friend. Yeah, do it for the giveaway. Well, <laughs> I'll pull up uh, the ladies' piece I was going to pick. Um, the Glashuta. Mm, that is a beautiful piece. I just don't know. Like, they have hardly any women's. Pieces. They have like two lines, I think. Well, they no, they used to have the Pavanina, which they retired, but they do definitely have the. This is the Pano series, which mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, of course, the Luna. But there is another lovely timepiece um, that, if you can pull it up, it's part of the Serenade collection, and it's a baby blue doll. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Gorgeous. It is a gorgeous piece too. Um, very pretty. Yeah, I I was looking through their catalog and it was um, it was pretty amazing. I've seen <laughs> uh, older versions of it um, in person, but 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure it's your brother, Dan. It, I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> right there, screwing around. <laughs> I'm a hundred percent. Who can who could be sure? <laughs> it might well, be Chris's after... brother. It might be Chris's that... brother. Nobody knows. The two of them are known to, you know. <laughs> yes, well, Chris's brother has better taste than Chris apparently as of today. <laughs> but Daniel, I see you've changed your spot. You're not any more close to Chris anymore. <laughs> yeah, Chris kicked me out. He came back from Denver and said, "Look, you got to get my it. studio. The, the, our our uh, we work. Sorry, you know, what was the he piece broke you were our re we work arrangements over. <laughs> it's called the Serenade, Chris." Glasuta Serenade. Oh, okay, I see it. Lady Which, Serenade. Uh, version. There's it's a light blue one with diamonds going crisscross on the dial as well. Oh, I see. Okay. Pretty watches, right? Yeah. It's cool that they don't do. Uh, I don't think they do any quartz, right, for their ladies. They used to do the Pavonina. Used to be quartz. Yeah, so I think it's cool that they have. Um, yes, this piece. They bring their more serious watchmaking to the ladies' uh, mm -hmm. line. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. It's a good looking piece. Actually, yeah. that blue looks even better in person. Um, is the dial my mother of pearl or something? No, it isn't. Uh, it's it's more like a nice blue dial. It's okay. not a mother of pearl. Uh, they do a mother of pearl with the lunar, uh, Dad. But uh, uh, oh yeah, you should have. But I think uh, David he was busy uh, with. Uh, <laughs> I, I was in Breck for a couple of days. Um, and then He's, he was on Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> 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 I didn't know David was from there. That's cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to live in uh, Denver for a few years. Next to uh, Hyde Park Jewelers. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I mean, um, Cherry Creek Mall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you take your cookies out of there now? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You All guys right. can cut that later in. <laughs> if you were a hot, what, were, what would have been your choice, Daniel? Oh my God! What is wrong with Dave? <laughs> this, this has to be Dave. It has to be. you it is Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. <sighs> I know. I, I, I never bought anything from him. He keeps changing his name. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to YouTube. We're gonna report him for that last comment. He's gonna be, he's gonna be off YouTube for a while. He's gonna be in the penalty box. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it be, Dave. But yeah, Dave. Uh, sorry, Dad. Uh, I'm interested in your choices. Let's start from the top. If you had to. Uh, choice for uh, women's watch or for ugly watch yeah. or for what? all the time pieces that we do. So men's uh, under three thousand. Sports. And dress. Mm. I'm not sure. Wow, your thousand dress is tough. For under three thousand sports, um, maybe an Oris Aquas. Yeah, those are great choices. Or yeah, I, I think a Pelagos <clears throat> comes in over three thousand, right, Chris? Yeah, I um, know. Yeah, it's about four. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think. And yeah, I, we kind of want to see you know, that the the Mark series pilots are just are are not under three. I'm sure, right? No, no, no. You're talking about IWC, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah they're no. just yeah, they're in the same same range. Okay. Um, it's usually going to be like. Wait. Well, so the, which one are you choosing for sports? The Oris, you said, uh, right? Yeah, the Oris. Yeah. The Oris. Yeah. yeah, and then the dress watch. Is Would you say the finer dates are dress watches or sports watches? I'm sorry? The pointer dates, the Aura's pointer date, big crown? They could definitely go as a dress timepiece. The one that he had 
with the yeah yeah you would say that stress i mean he could do it with both but i think it it yeah. mo- it goes more because of the color of the dial but if it was a black dial it would be definitely a dress spot yeah i think it depends yeah yeah i i thought about picking i i also didn't feel like that was quite right for sports you know it's You're right there's actually some yeah. grand even, even if we're on a even on the bracelet i think it, it was kind of funny yeah but i don't think that's right um, i mean if you have to have like a brand like grand seiko the, the quartzes are uh i don't know if they are anymore but they used to be under three thousand uh, yeah they yeah, they had a couple of the um, brushed steel dial, uh, cases. Uh, I was seeing Chris Mile. What is, what is blew up to something? <laughs> what is? <laughs> you, you highlighting his comments uh, here. <laughs> Boosting his ego. Um, for for under three thousand dress, I, I'm not sure. I, I would probably look at FC, and then. Long jeans. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's hard not to look at SC long jeans at that. Uh, bon is there something from Hamilton or Bins. Bowen Mercier? Yeah, they're um, yeah, Hamilton's way under. You can do oh, Jazz Master, you can do um, Chris even Wiggins. A Seiko, um, even a Seiko presage or presage. I'm not, I've never been sure. Oh, yeah, they're it. enamel, but there are a lot, a lot of them are really hard to get, like um. They came out with that limited edition enamel dials. They're yeah. really good, but they're impossible to get. Yeah, Citizen. I know someone who bought one. He loved it. I'm not too familiar with um, Citizen outside of their like Pro Masters and the and their their more normal range. Yeah. Um, where did Karan go? But yeah, I like I like Citizen in that range. Um, I think it's maybe under that. Like, I think when I think of like under 3,000, I think of pieces like um, Bell and Ross, even would be good in the sports range. Um, because I, I think when, when I have like a budget or a limit, you try to go close to that. Um, but I mean, Hamilton, um, I think Zodiac makes a really good watch but that's like a thousand so zodiac does most sporty time pieces though what yeah no no not for dress yeah i was saying um you have a lot of choices when if you're looking at a thousand um but i i think right we don't have to analyze every piece but what would be your next piece um daniel for uh, um that um Unattractive reggae that um, <laughs> just Martha Chris chose. Um, wow, ugliest watch. Uh, and everybody in the I'm chat think is- blue <laughs> can go for it. <laughs> Uh, answer. <laughs> I would say it's something that I think I, I'll say the thinking is really cool and really mm-hmm. ugly, but mm-hmm. some of those Lindy Wordlets, they're just too oh, much. Oh, yeah. The Rock. I, yeah, like those, uh, what are they called? Which the like, Octos. Love- yeah. Yeah, they're. They're pretty ugly. I mean, they're not like in your face ugly, but um, yeah. which watch is this? Could you can, can you put it? Yeah, I'll bring it up. Sorry, I'm just going with this. I also this is maybe this is kind of making a choice that's kind of like Chris's choice. But I was I was disappointed by some of the colorful dials. That Rolex came out with for the Oyster Perpetuals. I just, I haven't seen no, it. You're, like, you're not paying double. Like, <laughs> like the like the teal and the pink. I don't like know. The Tiffany teal, yeah. yeah. Um, I do get it. Like I, I have been fortunate to see the like I saw the yellow, um, 
in person, and I was not a fan too. You're, you're absolutely. Do you think it's a little overhyped? Why is why are those pieces? Your release with a brand that huge would be overhyped, um, regardless. So any new colors would come out. People will buy it for the sake of buying it. Oh yes. So it's kind of the booty techno marine kind of yeah yeah the, it's like got that scallop kind of uh, look to it. I mean, I've seen them in person. They're they actually wear pretty like pretty well. It's just that look is kind of weird. Mm -hmm. You guys have heard of a micro band called Chrono? No, but uh, a little bit. Um, I, one of the. One of the guys on Clubhouse has been talking about it a lot. Yeah. We've heard of Corona, Karana. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, there's a ton of micro brands out of uh, Japan that have been kind of blowing up. Chronograph? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, they have a chronograph. Where did you hear chronograph, Chris? You uh, just... the, yeah, I'm pulling up the Corona. Oh, so you're looking at the I... screen and just talking. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By okay. Hajime Asaoka. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That is a good looking piece. That's not bad. Oh, yeah. Not bad. It's it's gorgeous. Can you zoom into that? Just zoom, Chris. Just go like this. Uh, let's see. There you go. That's cool. That's oh, a great looking piece. Yeah. It reminds me of a uh, Bomesier, um that they made years ago. Um, but that dial is gorgeous. Uh, there comes Blue with his new name now. Dork to watch. We watch collector. We're not. <laughs> I don't know if Nixon is. It is. Uh, it is Dave. I'm telling you, it's Dave. <laughs> he just changed his name. Possibly. Uh, Nixon. What about um? He was telling me about gorilla watches. <laughs> See, he's messing yeah. up. He's messing. <laughs> yeah. I think it's actually cooler than Ming's. Um, I don't know how much they are though. Five, yeah. Very attractive though. That's awesome. Little arrow um, hand in the uh, register on at nine o'clock. Very cool. Ooh, that just killed it for me. The strap just killed it for me. Ooh, that is yeah. They could have done better. That strap killed it for me. Yeah. Uh. -uh. Chris, go go up and pre press the video. Yeah. Just That's watch the video together on YouTube, you know. Yeah. <laughs> 2021 for you. <laughs> what is it? It's... Oh, it's not, it's not doing anything. Okay. Yeah, I just don't like the trap. I guess they're not going to tell you the price. Anyway, uh, David let's take in the uh, oh. chat says it's four grand. Wow. Yeah. It's actually kind of reasonable. What about the Kudoke? Is that? All right. We were asking Dan about his watch choices, Chris. Stay focused. <laughs> I don't know. Just Dave's we can go back. Days. Yeah. <laughs> we can go <laughs> <laughs> So... <laughs> It's like Inception, Chris. So I got for my choice. I got the uh, the Oris Aqua. That's my under three thousand sports. Um, for when I'm playing all my sports, and then um, <laughs> what did I say was my? Oh, oh you you know, I'm going to with the Bomesiers and the Hamiltons for that. Yeah, you got would, the. Yeah. You sent I the. I, I don't remember the brand you said with the not yeah, good looking. Yeah, the uh, LW. You didn't pick a dress. 
Oh yeah, I gotta. I really gotta pick an address. I'm gonna go with. This is way under three thousand. I'd probably go with one of those Seiko Presages. Presage. Mm -hmm. uh, what what's the baby snowflake one called? Uh, there's like a presage with like a snowflake dial. It's called the baby snowflake. You said it. <laughs> I thought there was another name. Uh, yeah, these yeah. are good choices. And you don't wear wristwatches probably as much. So, huh? I'm just saying, if you don't wear dress watches as much, you don't need to spend like. Yeah, I would spend less on that. the. Um, yeah. Like if I was trying to make a like a, a collection for under five, I'd put more of it into the sport side than the dress. For, I mean, that's what I do for myself. Sorry. <laughs> Newbie watch collector. Okay, we're still focusing. Let's let him finish his ladies' diamond piece. Okay. Okay. Ladies' Let's diamond play. piece. Uh, is this? There's no budget on this one, right? This is just no. no just I would do the um one where the diamonds move around. Is that the show part? Happy diamonds. No, but happy diamonds. Nice. Showed me that once, and I was like, that is so crazy. How did those things not destroy everything on the inside of the watch? It's so neat to me. I love it. No, the two sapphire crystals, actually. And Very is it like they're pressed up against yeah. the diamonds? No, it's basically three layers, no? So you've got a sapphire crystal and the diamonds are the another sapphire and then your watch underneath. So uh, basically so oh, okay. So it's like Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah. I think that's just fun. I don't know. It's not gonna be fun a second hand or anything. But you you are correct. I did think about um you know uh choosing a Chopin uh because um I think yeah. they've some beautiful pieces for women if i um do any of the cartier tanks have come with diamonds around the bezel i think that would also be a fantastic yes, choice. now they've changed it because they do a steel with uh diamonds which cartier should never have done change that but you could tell the difference um back in the day you could tell the difference between a precious metal cartier and a non yeah. um you know because if it was white gold, it would be diamonds. Uh, if there were diamonds on a white metal, particularly, you know that it's not stainless steel. Yeah. With I Cartier. Would, Sorry. And I would, I would pick between the Chopard and the uh, Cartier. And I would love it with the precious metal with diamonds. Of course, uh, just yeah. depending on the, the particular, you know, person style. You know, I don't know if you guys have seen a couple of pieces that Cartier does. There's a Ballon Blanc, which is not the Ballon Blue, but Ballon Blanc. And have you seen that Panther watch where the diamonds actually f um, form the face of the Panther? Oh, yeah. 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 No, that sounds cool. You have seen that, right? Mm -hmm. Well, because I was looking for <laughs> diamond watches, but. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, cool. Uh, Dan, uh, Daniel, have you seen that? No, I'm just Googling it. That sounds so cool. Yeah, Chris, you can bring up that video because it is so beautiful. The Alpine Eagle, Chopa doesn't get the attention it deserves. You're actually true, which was actually called the Stad, right? The Gastad, um, or if I'm not mistaken, um, back in the day, or the Saint Moritz, the Saint Moritz, actually. What uh, do you think of the. Um, Alpine Eagle. I don't know. I've, I've sold Chopin for a long time as well. And um, uh, it's nice. There's There used to be the Stad, like I was saying, and then the Samoritz, and then yeah. Ariel. Um, they make some beautiful... I mean, the diamonds with Chopin are gorgeous. So, you know... Have you, have you seen it in person? It's been a while since I've sold Chopin. Oh, okay. So, I haven't handled the piece, but you know, very attractive. I think they they just came out with uh, I think a red dial version, and I think that's actually um, more interesting than the just like another blue um, integrated sports watch. Right. Right. Did you find that watch, or do you want me to find it? Uh, yeah, you should probably find it. <laughs> so, 
You guys go ahead and talk. I'll find it. Chris, uh, so what, what watch are you bring up onto the mountain? Uh, the Seamaster Professional 300. The ski Master. Ski. <laughs> ski Master tells you how many vertical feet you're uh, traveling. Yeah. For the first yeah, 24 exactly. feet. I mean, it was great because, like, you're up in the mountains, and then the adjustment on the class was like, so you could like yeah. tighten it, and then when you get off the mountain, it was so hot up there. It was like. <laughs> Blue? Is that blue? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Ready? Let's see if I can pick this up. Share. Share screen. Chrome tab. Let's do this. All right, you guys see this, right? Oh, what happened here? Something just happened. I don't know. Today we're back in New York for another episode of Talking Watches. Oh my God! one of those copyright. Yeah, he just enjoys everyone's shows. Hey. Out of here. <laughs> uh, I haven't heard of the Garmin Delta. It sounds uh, very useful. Chris, I know this is a, a pretty upsetting question for a lot of uh, your guys' viewers. What is the best sports watch subcategory? Sports watch? <laughs> uh, probably the watch Blue Movie. It's a blue movie. Wait, I was trying to show you guys this because it is a gorgeous timepiece, and I don't know what happened here. Hey. Is it your Ryan, what are you doing? Do you see it? No. No, we do not. You don't see it? You didn't no. add it to the stream or anything. Oh, that's weird. Hold on. It did. All right. Let me do this real quick. You could hear the music, right? Yeah, we yeah, can we all hear the music. <laughs> 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 we got the music down. Here we go. All right. Here comes now stream. you can see it? Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, it's all diamonds. Isn't that gorgeous, though? It's insane. Yeah. Okay, that knocks the happy diamonds way out of contention. That's that has the same cool diamonds moving around, but it makes a panther face. That's so. Yeah, cool. it makes a panther face. That's what it is. That's cool. I love that. Wow. Um, did you think of picking the Van Cleef with the, <laughs> um, with the what do you call it? The solar system. Yeah. We actually have that piece. I shared some pictures with you, right? Yeah, that is really cool. Um, it is a gorgeous piece. No, I didn't. I didn't think of, um, you know, something like that because, frankly, it's pretty. Am I a fan of it? Um, uh, there's a lot more for that kind of money. Yeah, yeah. like the Cartier, like yeah. that you just saw. It's, I think. Well, how, much, how much is that one? That would be up there. That'll be probably about a hundred, hundred and change, or probably a little lesser. But um, I think it's a lot more prettier, you know, to have something. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. more innovative. I think. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's like you know, you just turn your wrist and it turns into a panther. Yeah. That's <laughs> it's like cool. those pens. Like, I'm sorry. Those pens were like the lady. Yeah, the exactly. Yeah. Hmm. Speaking of pens, Daniel. <laughs> Talk to me, Chris. I know Daniel's in, really into pens now. Yeah, well. 
I was actually <laughs> going to pick that Monte Grappa watch with all the uh, Medusa heads, uh, uh, you know, uh, that's a yeah, piece. I, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of their pens, like there's special edition pens, are so ugly. Like they're it's like this is the culmination of so much great handwork, and it's just so bad. <laughs> So yeah, bad. I love ugly. Like <laughs> something is that ugly, and they're like, "We worked on this for years and years, and this is what we came up with." It's like a million man hours, like yeah. tons of used resin bars and lots of steel well, and I, gold. I a lot it's of watch it's like um, Jacob and Company, you know, or yeah, um, they, that probably took a lot of time to make. I don't think so. <laughs> no, uh, I don't think so. The way the the production is, and every oh, yeah. three months you see a new timepiece. I don't think it takes that long. For for those of us like me who don't really know, I mean, I know Jacob and Company is like a brand that makes these gaudy timepieces and jewelry, but like, who are they? And where are they made? I mean, you know, I just don't know anything about them other than that they're very expensive and just ostentatious. I personally think he's a fabulous jeweler. Uh, a jeweler. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to tell you, right? It's a fabulous jeweler. Um, you know, it's very innovative. I mean, with um, hello, Daniel. Another Daniel's here. They've got two Daniels now in the chat. Um, and <laughs> uh, I think fantastic jeweler. I mean, to be very, very honest, um, you know, Beautiful pieces. If you're looking at pure jewelry, um, when it comes to you know the diamonds and the astronomical, whatever, um, it's really cool. But like I say, you know, when you're gonna spend that kind of money, there's so much you can buy for that money. <laughs> there is. Is, so much. is Jacob in in the U.S. or in Switzerland? I mean, I. I I just know very little about. I, I you know, it probably does, of course, yeah. But um, Blue is answering his own question. Did Jacob go to jail for money laundering? He sure did. He made a mistake. Dave <laughs> made a mistake. He forgot to change his handle. <laughs> he forgot to change his handle. He's caught. <laughs> Actually, it's probably you, Dad. <laughs> it is you because every time you check his phone. <laughs> no, it's, it's definitely not me. I'm, I, have to, I have to keep track of all this blue stuff, man. It's all it's all over the chat. <laughs> oh my God. Well, you know, uh, Dad, you'll be surprised if you rewind after we go. Um, no, not you, Daniel. Dan, <laughs> equation. You'll be surprised at uh, Chris's choice today for his ugliest timepiece. <laughs> uh, yeah. Spoiler First, I pick RM, RM. And, and then you call that ugly, and then I pick a watch, and it's not ugly enough. I just can't get the right ugly watch. I think you made a boo-boo there, though, in regards to ugly. I, I know where you're coming from, but I think everybody would agree with me on that one. That is not an Sure, ugly. yeah, I think it's just not ugly in that Jacob and Co. way. Yeah, ugly in that Richard ugly. Mille way. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah. Well, oh, we can talk about RM if you really want to. I mean, yeah. I know uh, we should do about 10 minutes more. So, yeah, let you guys go for it. Go for what? <laughs> no, but Chris, I was asking you, what's the best ski watch? So, like, for example, I'm sure you're thinking of, you know, your first thought is, oh, I need to get that Sylvester Stallone Richard meal with the ion or um, iodine tablets. I think Sunto actually makes. Um, a watch specifically for skiing. So, so you're great yeah. pieces. Daniel's Grail watch. Yeah, let's. Uh, that's an easy one. Uh, it's the Richard <laughs> Meal Bubba Watts. <laughs> Bejeweled. There you go. Bejeweled you got with oh, cubic zirconia. 
wait, I have to do this to you then. Say that with a straight face, Seth. <laughs> I can't. I'm not that good of an actor. I'm a, I'm a horrible actor. Well, what's your legitimate grill watch? I don't know. Uh, oh, by I, the way, Dad, if I, you ask for that, is that one of your dad's uh, photos in the background? It is. It is. Nice. Though, soon I'll replace it with maybe a Chris Chang original. Chris is a good photographer, actually. I know he's taking some beautiful pictures, but you know what? I did, uh, of course, um, I have him on all three of my Instagrams and I've seen his pieces and they're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can trade him that clock with a nice painting. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> well, he does need to put his photos. <laughs> he has so many. Yeah. 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 No, um, but he's got some beautiful pieces there. Yeah. But yes, um, uh, Daddy, Dan doesn't also believe you. So let's, let's, uh, what is your grail timepiece? Like realistic grail? Yeah, like something that you would exist. So for example, what I think would be really fun to collect, if I had like one of, this is serious, one of Rafael Nadal's actual watches that he actually wore while winning, you know, like his 10th French Open, that would be very cool. But uh, I'm not getting that, of course. Um, <laughs> I would probably say maybe just um, Patek Philippe. <laughs> Yes, he is actually. Chris, good to see you. Um, oh, hey. Hey, Chris. Uh, no, no, Dan. No, Dan. No, Dan. I, I turned the wrong way. Chris, you <laughs> did the right thing first. What? <laughs> 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 All right. Come on, really? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Kron, did you uh, did Chris say something from Denver when he was up there? Well, you know it's legal there. So. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> well, for on the. Um, no, I'd say I would say realistic. Uh, I think the most realistic will probably be a. Uh, <laughs> I think I killed him. You killed <laughs> Karan. The, the board's going to be very unhappy with you, Chris. When you kill, when the old CEO stabbed the new CEO right in the back and killed him. I'll be right back. You guys continue. I would say uh, good old-fashioned uh, Patrick Lee Calatrava. Just a, just a classic <laughs> with the same seconds at six. I mean, yeah. you know, that's... that's cool. uh, but in terms of like something that's like out there, mm, well, it's not that like specific. That's just what I was. Well, surprised. I guess I'd, I'd go with the classic like yellow gold fifty two ninety six. I think it's the number. It might be fifty three. <laughs> might be fifty one. Who knows? I'm pretty sure it ends I only know second. the hot steel sports watches. Just kidding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but seriously, yeah, that's the only references I know. Fuel fifty seven eleven. All I know is fifty seven eleven fifty seven twelve. <laughs> Oh, he's stop laughing. <laughs> um, yeah, so just a three hand Calatrava, yeah, yeah, with the sub seconds at six, the yellow gold. I yellow mean, gold. What, what more could you want, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what is <laughs> You've never tried um, on a pattern? Wow. Me I mean, not. I mean, I'm not. You really? Know. I've tried like all of them on. Just the ones in the show. That doesn't mean I have. I'm not going sneaking over here. This is right there. This is right there. I cannot talk anymore. <laughs> Try it on real quick. Chris, I don't have the key to the safe in your side of the studio. <laughs> over there. Over there. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> oh my god! You guys are just never gonna let me live that down. So we're, tried on neither of us were very good actors, so it's okay. No. I, I can't say with a straight face that I I need the bubble awesome. So. That is cool, so though. Okay. Address paddock. Yeah, why not? I mean. Oh. Uh, that's 
first of all, uh, yeah, that's like just such a classic <laughs> watch. Keep it forever. I think that's Dave pretending to be me, pretending to be Blue in the chat. Yeah. I think. Uh, oh, it's going to kill me not knowing who it is. I mean, I'm guessing it's Dave, but. We'll play. <laughs> we go live right, to Dan, who's, right, any last one, who's very confused over his morning tea. Any last questions for Daniel? What's that? Any last questions for Daniel or any? Why? <laughs> Why do you think Daniel go? Well, I don't know. Just <laughs> while you're trying to control yourself over there. I'm sorry, but that was too <laughs> funny, and I can't stop laughing. I'm crying. You're actually crying. All right, I, I need to remove Karat for a second. Oh, man, you booted uh, Karat. Hey, no, Chris, what's your grail watch? Mine? Yeah, if you have one. I mean, for the longest time, it's been the 5726, but I don't know. It's just. <laughs> Wait, what's, what's that one? That's the, it's like the 5712, but it's like symmetrical with oh, the yeah. annual That's calendar yeah. Nautilus. Um, but like that's just not realistic or as cool anymore, I, I guess. Just because, like, when I w really had it as my grail, it was like in 2013, and it was just like another version of the Nautilus, yeah. So, like, now, now it's like this all the Nautiluses are just kind of out of reach or like. A cliche choice or something. Yeah. Um, I'll pull it up. All right, fifty two oh five, Dan. Um, uh, the annual calendar. No, Dan. Not not Daniel, but Dan asked a question. So, uh, with his tape. Uh, uh here we go this, oh, yeah it's that one God. whoa look at that look at that fade straight out of powerpoint whoa yeah yeah it's beautiful i mean watch. it's kind of a boring choice now but at the time i liked it it wasn't that's cool oh man Karan, 5396 wait hold on a second Tony Nico is there. <laughs> Who's Tony Nico? It's all day, dude. It's all day. Yeah. Oh, this is a cool piece. I'll pull it up real quick. Tony Nico and Blue need to maybe share a computer or something. That is cool. Yeah. That is beautiful. <laughs> It, it it is a good thing for your buck right now. Good thing for your buck. <laughs> Are you trying to mock someone? <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> yes, Dan. <laughs> no, it's a little thicker than the Aquanaut, so it's probably not quite. Mr. Nico, I have a question for you. Are you going to ask a question and answer it yourself without changing your name this time as well? Watch it be actually someone different. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's a, it's a, or you know, maybe it's. Yeah, he's right. What does that mean? Is a gold head like it's, it's basically a gold dress watch. Okay. Um, yeah, I think he's talking about it, the Nautilus. Oh my gosh. Um, Chris, can you pull up a 5070 uh, yellow gold? 5070J. Not in production anymore. One of my, it's a Limani movement. 
it's not a uh, it's not available anymore or it's not huh english <laughs> sorry i have it here hold on okay english again yeah it's discontinued right yes i said not in production chris <laughs> black dial see that that is gorgeous wow so cool and that i do not believe is just a gold piece on a leather strap or a gold head and uh, do you have any more pictures of that yes mm. can you put on the the one on the right please chris is it the same kind of lamania movement in the reggae yes uh, lamania is owned by them but chris can you click on that third picture where you can see the face of the watch yes and zoom in now that is one of the most beautiful timepieces that's mm -hmm. yep how does it compare to the current um the uh, the current chronograph that they have um with the in-house movement very like compared because the 5070 is uh, the limani movements up there and uh uh, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. I I love that. You know, I, I do want to bring up this piece, which then uh, because I fell in love with it as well. Um, you know, Tony, I don't um, disagree. I don't think it's better. I think it's a good, um, good comeback from the fifty seventy. But I want to bring up that. Um, where did I, I, Chris? Are you messing with the chat? No. Okay. I want to. I want to bring this piece up because, again, you messed with it. Thanks, Chris. Did you just take that out? What this one? Can we bring that up? You know what? I'll bring that up. Don't worry. I'll do that. Yeah. I don't think Tony Nico is Dave. Okay, we're not wondering about that anymore. <laughs> I know. <Yeah>. I'm still confused. <laughs> Whoever new people are, just subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> subscribe, subscribe if you have significant others. Take their phones, like, and subscribe. Fire your phone. <laughs> Subscribe this is all phones that I want to bring up um, because I actually like this piece too, and I'd never, never seen it uh, prior to what um, when Dan brought it up the other day. So I hope I do this correctly now. Share screen, Chrome tab. There you go. I think I got it. There you go. This is absolutely gorgeous too. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Jay-Z has that. Jay-Z has what? This, he has this piece. Sir, so you mean Jay-Z has Jai-Jai? <laughs> <laughs> Jay-Z has Jai-Jai. Please, I'm pretty sure it's Jay-Z. <laughs> Jay-Z has Jai-Jai. <laughs> No, but I want to talk about this piece. If anybody else has some, um, that's an awesome piece. Um, is it that piece is hard to get? Like I don't even know, like where you would find it. It's it's lovely. I, the fact that it does not say, je je, je, je. It, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, it actually, it's really clean. It's a gorgeous piece. Is that like probably the truest to the original? Um, 1931 reverso. Yep. Oh, sorry. Uh, don't bring it up, Chris, again, because I will start again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this and like that. <laughs> he nearly hit himself in the wall. It looks a lot closer than it is. <laughs> That that would be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I would get the 
a Prince Harry engraving on the back today. Prince Harry, yeah. Huh? Why not? Mm -hmm. uh, all right, what else are we talking about? We've got we'll do it till one th um one hour thirty minutes. Let's do this real quick. Let's talk let's bring some <laughs> interesting right. uh, um we could talk about it a little bit, I guess. Uh Daniel. What's that? What do you have, what do you have in your collection? <laughs> Tony Nico Reichert wants to know. <laughs> of no relation, I'm sure. Uh, I can't even speak right now using my words. Uh, my, my collection is three right. pieces. I have a Rolex Explorer 2. The black dial. I have a uh, Oris Big Crown Pointer date with the uh, Oxblood red dial, and a Grand Stake of Snowflake. Um, the old, the old three-piece collection. My daily yeah. driver is the Oris. I'm not wearing anything right now. I can't do it right. But I, if I was wearing my <laughs> Explorer two this weekend. Yep, I have uh, an Omega Seamaster three hundred. We didn't know. What do you have in your collection? <laughs> What? We didn't ask you what you have in your collection. Oh, okay. No, I thought we did. <laughs> well, we no, did. I, I'm was... speaking, Chris. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he um, did. Okay. And then I have a Grand Seiko SBGH267 uh, and the Rolex GMT Master 2 and uh, Rolex Milgauss Z Blue. Wait, the Z Blue? And Sean has Wait, everything. did you have the blue? Did I hear that you have some sort of blue watch piece blue? today, Chris? Z blue. Ah, uh, I see. Z blue. Mm. And Quran has every piece. I just have this piece. He just, my, <laughs> he just has a Casio. Blue Casio oak in my collection. Yep. I don't have every piece. I'm sure you have a lot. What is, What are you currently wearing a lot? You know what I'm wearing a lot. <clears throat> Uh, Navitimer. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Daniel, not blue. <laughs> um, uh, it's the black ceramic GMT Master, the green hand. Yeah, and I have our giveaway watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do have. You want to show your giveaway watch to Blue and uh, Tony Nico? Yeah, they <laughs> yeah, uh, haven't subscribed already. Chris, they the same people. Don't run anywhere. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll get it. It's just right. It's right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, it's yeah. in my half of the studio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you show the fancy box I sent you, Chris, with it? I, I think you show the box. Yeah, I have it right here. You're the Invicta also? No, I have to go get that. No, I was just kidding because every time you got up and sent you back, I was just trying that. No, I'm only getting it because it's right here. Show the fancy box. Ooh. Ooh. I can subscribe. So it comes with. Uh, Comes with this uh, travel pouch, which you already asked me for. Yeah, but you did not give it to me. So you have it in your hand. You can take. No, it. I wanted. <laughs> that's part of the giveaway. You're not going to give them just the watch. Oh, so there's the giveaway watch. The box now. All right, guys, yeah. I got a roll. So everyone, subscribe, and this can be yours. Danny leaving? He's I leaving. I think we should all leave, actually, because it's been an hour 24. <laughs> and when the right guts come on, we always extend our hours. <laughs> yeah, the records just don't want to leave. James Blue and Tony Nico and everything. <laughs> hey, man, you guys said send Daniel a link. And I, of course... First, I'd join. All right, Dan, off to work in the old thing. Dan, what's Dan do? 
I'll let him answer that when uh, you guys have a conversation. Yeah. All right. Oh, Tony Nico. <laughs> he wants more, uh, more bright wing. All right. Know. Thanks, Chris, for actually showing the watch but not saying a word what we're doing with it. Uh, appreciate it. <laughs> but thank you all for joining as always. We really thank appreciate you, it. It was a good chat. And uh, stop looking at your phone and texting, Daniel. You cannot. Yeah. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe right. we'll get Tony Nico on. What's that? I will we'll forward to see You killed me today, Chris. You really killed me. <laughs> <laughs> With my choices and <laughs> no, not your choices. Your choices were an understatement. You're pointing your directions. I think we need to give you a Garmin or a Stunto for that. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite uh, smartwatch, Karan? Sorry? What's your favorite smartwatch? You are my smartwatch, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Straight out of the, the chat, it sounds like. Right, no. All right. I don't like smartwatches. Anyway, let's call it a night. Lovely seeing you guys. Daniel, thank you for coming on as well. Dan, thanks for everyone. David, everybody, Chris. Blue, blue, Tony, whoever you guys are, screw <laughs> you. But <laughs> thanks, everyone. See you guys soon. Yeah. Take care. Bye bye.